One day, some duck people were walking by a waterhole. It was a very hot day, and the young ducks wanted to go for a swim to cool off. Duck man said, "You can't go swimming here. This is the water rat waterhole, and they are our enemies." Duck woman said, "I can't see any water rats." Duck man replied, "That's because the water rat is very shy, but be careful because they are also fierce warriors." Duck man and the rest of the ducks waddled off, but duck woman stayed at the waterhole. Duck woman looked around again, but still she could not see the water rat. She was so hot she decided to go for a swim. The water rat was hiding in the shadows when he heard someone come into the water. He grabbed his spear and came out of his cave to attack. When he saw Duck Woman was alone, he decided to lower his spear and talk to her. Water Rat and Duck Woman had so much fun together that Duck Woman and Water Rat decided to live with each other. Many moons passed, and Duck Woman and Water Rat became closer. One day, Duck Woman and Water Rat were swimming in the waterhole when they heard voices on the bank nearby. The voices belonged to the duck people who had returned to the waterhole. Duck Woman realized that she had not seen her people for many years, and so she told Water Rat that she wanted to see all her friends and family again. Water Rat hesitated. But our people have been at war for a long time. How are we going to explain about us? How are we going to tell them about our children? Duck Woman had an idea and told Water Rat to wait in the shadows until she called. Duck Woman approached her people. Aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters. How good to see you all again. The duck people were so happy to see Duck Woman again that they partied for days on end. When they finished partying, they asked Duck Woman, "We have not seen you in ages. We thought you were dead. Where have you been?" Duck Woman told her people that she had met someone. His dark, handsome, hairy, and shy. The duck people were happy for Duck Woman, and were eager to meet her new husband. He sounds good. Where is this dark, handsome, hairy, and shy Duck Man husband? Why did you not bring him with you? Are you sure you're not telling us a lie? Duck Woman told her people. He's taking care of our children. The duck people were even more excited. You have children. Where are these children? At that moment. Duck Woman yelled out, "Woohoo, husband! Can you come out and bring the children?" Water Rat Charlie approached the Duck People with the children in tow. When the Duck People saw the Water Rat, they <gasps> grabbed their spears to attack. Duck Woman yelled, "Stop! Don't attack! For he is my husband, and they are our children." The Duck People saw the children and lowered their spears. The children had inherited their father's dark, hairy body and shy nature. And their mother's webbed feet and duck bill. They were the first platypus. But how can this be true? For years our people have been enemies and fought over the water holes. Now that you are together, we will no longer fight, but we'll live in peace and share the water holes.